Hello my dear friends, you are on the Military Summary channel and in this short video we are going to discuss events that took place during the previous 12 hours. And the most terrible updates for the Ukrainians are coming from Bakhmut. The Russian sources are saying that during the previous fierce clashes in the southern part of western Bakhmut, the Russians managed to penetrate the Ukrainian defense orders and to establish control over this interception. As you can see, this is very deep inside of Ukrainian defense orders. The, we, can, we see and we understand that Ukrainians defense in the south of western part of Bakhmut has been collapsed. And uh, this is not my opinion, but I, I am about to believe this updates, this piece of news and these conclusions that currently Bakhmut, the western part of Bakhmut, appeared in the cauldron. Let's go to the Western Sources map just to update this area for better understanding of the situation. We know that currently, or the previous days, we talk a lot about the clashes in on the 0506 road. First, the Russians established control over this small uh, turn uh, in, in direction of Hromova. Later, we got a piece of news that uh, the Russians established control over the entire Hromova. Later, we got updates that the Ukrainians made a number of counteroffensive operations and they managed to restore some control over part of Hromova. And currently, I believe that Hromova is under control, uh, like for 50% under Russian control. So this is the situation on the north. And when talking about the uh, eastern part and the southern part of the western Bakhmut, we know that the Russians managed to enter the eastern part of the ex-military base. Today we got updates, at least from their, some kind of... Uh, from uh, experts and uh, Russian sources like Rybert that there were heavy clashes along the Palvova street, this one, and uh, later another uh, Russian expert uh, reported uh, that the Russians established control over this interception of the roads. So this is the current situation on the western uh, Bakhmut uh, by like... Uh, Let's say, let's call it like the 11 a.m. of the local time. So this situation and the Russians are saying that uh, now the Russians need to do one thing to complete the clearing operation of Hromova. And if they're able to do this, then they will be able to establish physical, visible and any type of controls over like the kilometer to the south from this area. The same situation from now on the Russians, if they're if the piece of information about the establishing control over this interception is correct and is true, the Russians have already established physical visible fire artillery control over the same distance from the south and we can say that this is a cauldron this is a, a real classic cauldron the only possible solution for the ukrainians for evacuation is along the fields but there is a river so anyway the rush the ukrainians are captured and every single russian expert military experts um are is saying that Currently, there is a cauldron and the forces in Bakhmut are stuck, blocked and they can't evacuate from now on, are no longer able to evacuate from this part of Bakhmut. This is a terrible piece of news for the Ukrainians, but anyway, we'll see how this thing is going to be developed, because I understand if the Ukrainians are pl were planning to start counter-offensive operation, they need to start doing this right now, or they will lose up to two or three brigades inside of this cauldron. Now let's talk about more updates. The Russians are saying that finally they managed to clear the Sporne, at least the gas station. They take control over this area. As you can see, the Russian source map has been updated, but yesterday during the night we got updates that they finally captured this area. And currently the Ukrainians, if they control something, they control just this small village and the farms in this area anyway, the Russians are pushing and the Ukrainians are stepping back. Also, the Russians are saying that during the previous uh, 24 to 12 hours, they attacked the 81st Brigade in Grigoryevka in this area. And uh, as you can see, as we discussed in the previous video, that currently the Russians are completely focused in this area in Belogorovka, Grigorovka, and Sporna, trying to penetrate and to get as close as possible to Sivirsk. So we can say that the battle for Sivirsk has already started. At least the intensifying of clashes and fierce fightings are saying something like this. Another important update are coming from Avdiivka. The Russians continue advancing in Nivoyska, and currently, according to my understanding of the situation, the Russians managed to establish operational encirclement of Nivoyska. During the previous night, during the previous 24 hours, there were very fierce and heavy clashes, fierce fighting, scare, heavy clashes for more than 10 hours in the vicinity of this area. And mainly the Russians were trying to penetrate the Ukrainian defense orders on the south from this area. And as I understand, according to the Russian sources, they managed to establish control over the southern fortifications that locate on the south of this town. So currently the Russians have established like fire control over these roads. 
an over the road that connects Nivolska with Piromaisk. So currently, um, Nivolska is in operational circlement or maybe even in 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 some kind of cauldron because the settlement is not so big. I'm not saying that there are like thousands of Ukrainians, but at least a few dozens of soldiers whose artillery systems and tanks uh, are there and they're stacked and I don't think they have any possibilities to evacuate from this area. Furthermore, the Russians are saying that during the previous uh, hours they attack and managed to break rotation process in Marinka. Currently, they were like located the 110 mechanized brigade as we discussed yesterday this is the most hunted brigade currently and the few parts few like uh, groups of that brigade were located in Marinka and as I understand according to the Russians there was some kind of uh, they should begun uh, some kind of uh, rotation process but the Russians broke that process and the Ukrainians are also stuck in this area and don't have possibilities to evacuate their forces from Marinka as well the Russians are saying that during the previous night of the local time, the Ukrainians lost 55 soldiers and 5 armored vehicles. Mainly their losses, their losses came from Marienka, from Nivoyska, and also the Russians are saying that they attacked the Ukrainian positions in Kramatorsk of 60 mechanized brigades, so 55 soldiers were killed during the previous night of the local time. And also the Russians are saying that there are very heavy clashes in Uglidar. They continue erasing this town from the map and... Uh, as a result of artillery duels, some recoin combat operations, the Ukraine lost another 10 soldiers and two armored artillery systems in this area. So as you can see, the situation is critical for the Ukrainians. Critical in Marinka, there is a critical situation in Nivoyska. The Russians continue advancing in direction Nova Kalinova. The Russians have already established cauldron in the western part of Bakhmut and very interesting updates are coming from Bilogorovka Sporne region. And something tells me, and I expect that soon this area will be collapsed as well, and the Russians will be able to advance further in direction of Siversk. And that's it for this, this short update. Military Summary Channel reminds to condemn any violence in Ukraine. Thank you for your watching. Subscribe to my channel. Put your likes, join my Patreon. And have a good day. Bye-bye.